Hey guys, welcome and welcome back to my channel. Uh, this is my second podcast. So this podcast is about the facts, uh, the unknown facts of uh, Ramayana. Uh, we uh, we all know Ramayana, I know, but uh, the hidden truths which uh, many might not be knowing uh, that we have covered. So this is the part two, and uh, I have in my channel part one as well. So if you like this video, uh, do check out that video as well if you have not checked out. and uh, please check out that video because if you don't see that video i don't think you'll be able to understand this video like both the videos are interconnected so <clears throat> let me give you a brief about the last video so in the last video we have uh, talked about uh, uh, the life of uh, rama and uh, sita uh and their vanvas like how th- means mainly from their vanvas we have started because the beginning is known to all and vanvas also is known to all but still uh from vanvas we have started and uh, about the vanvas and uh, how they have traveled through the 14 years of their life uh, from where they started where they went and uh, how they led their life there and uh, about shurnaka also we have discussed like uh, how shubhnaka came and uh, how she was uh, she wanted to uh, marry lord rama and lakshman ji cut her nose all those we have discussed and uh, we have uh, discussed the abduction of mata sita as well the kidnapping of mata sita uh, and uh, then we have uh, discussed uh, the further parts are in this video so do see this video and uh, tell us in the comments uh, how do you like this video So now I think we can continue further. In the last part we have talked about uh, uh, Shuk Nakha. We were talking about. So now let's continue further after that. So uh, there is an interesting story uh, that uh, we all don't know about the Lakshman Rekha. So we all have heard many stories about Lakshman Rekha. but actually there was nothing such like Ram- lakshman rekha lord it was not at all mentioned in the ramcharit manas neither it was mentioned in the valmik ramayana not it was actually mentioned in the ramayana which was like translated in sanskrit so neither of this ramayana it was uh, there was any mention of uh, Ram- uh, uh, lakshman rekha but actually Uh, in ram charit manas it was later added because tulsi das uh, belonged uh, in the reign of the mughal emperor akbar that was in 1500 bc and uh, Tul- and uh, tulsi das and there the fact that uh, La- lord ram and lakshman ji left sita mata alone there in the jungle it was like not anticipated by the people so for that reason uh, tulsi das added that part of lakshman rekha in ram charit manas so the story about lakshman rekha is quite simple we all know but uh, still i want to clarify that uh, one day lord rama and lakshman ji uh, they went into the jungle leaving uh, mata sita behind like they told mata sita to be in the house for uh, we all know that uh, mata sita doesn't need any protection because uh, she was a great warrior she held up that shiv dhanush means uh, she really doesn't need any protection but still like uh, lakshman ji because they were going into the jungle leaving mata sita behind so lakshman ji wanted to protect her like wanted to give her protection so that's why she drew that lakshman rekha all around the house and like mata sita was inside it and uh, it was like believe that uh, Until she was, until unless she was outside, uh, she was inside. She will be protected. If she comes outside that rekha, she will not get be protected. And for that, uh, uh, she drew that Lakshman rekha. But when Ravana came there, she knew about the Lakshman rekha. Uh, he knew about the Lakshman rekha, and uh, <coughs> so he tricked Mata Sita. He was he disguised himself as a sage and came there, and he tricked Mata Sita uh, to come out of that rekha, and. Uh, That's all the story about uh, Lakshman Rekha. So now I would like uh, you to explain further more about the story. Okay, so as you said about uh, Ravana, uh, she did Mata Sita to cross the Lakshman Lakshman Rekha. 
so after that Ravana tried, uh, not tried, but he kidnapped Mata Sita uh, from Panchavati and he tried to leave Panchavati. But Jatayu, he tried to stop him. Now, talking about who is Jatayu, uh, Jatayu was a demigod uh, that uh, is mentioned in the epic that is the Ramayana we are talking about and uh, he was in the form of a vulture. So, uh, he was also the friend of King Dashratha, uh, that is the father of Lord Rama as we all know. So, through that, he knew Lord Rama and Mata Sita lived in Panchwati. He knew them uh, from a long time and uh, he also used to help them in many things uh, while they were living in Panchwati. So, when he saw that Ravana is uh, uh, kidnapping Mata Sita, he tried to stop Ravana. Uh, in which uh, Ravana attacked him and uh, Ravana cut uh, one of his wings also uh, due to which he was uh, badly wounded and uh, in that state only uh, he was uh, he fell down after his wings was cut he fell down uh, in the Nepakshi that is now in Andhra Pradesh so uh, when Lord Rama returned searching for Mata Sita uh, he came to know from the people there that uh, uh, someone uh, in the in the form of a sage has kidnapped Mata Sita and uh, when Lord Rama uh, tried to find Mata Sita in search of Mata Sita so he found uh, Jatayu who told him about Ravana kidnapping Mata Sita and taking him to the south of India so after knowing from Jatayu uh, that the mother, uh, that Ravana took Mata Sita to the south of India, uh, he started his journey towards the south, uh, where he reached a, a jungle which was called uh, the Surya Van. So, in the Surya Van, uh, he met uh, an old lady uh, whose name was Shabri, and uh, Shabri instructed Lord Rama uh, to go and meet Bali. Uh, who will help Lord Rama to reach to Mata Sita. So now, just now I have mentioned about Shabri. So who was Shabri actually? So Shabri was an elderly woman uh, who was a great devotee of uh, Lord Vishnu. And uh, she was about to leave her mortal body. But as instructed by Rishi Matanga, uh, she was waiting for uh, Lord Vishnu's arrival in his human form. So, when uh, Lord, we all know that story of uh, Shabri uh, feeding the berries to uh, Lord Rama. So, I will tell you something about that story. Uh, the general story that we all know that uh, Shabri used to go to the forest every day uh, with the help of her stick to collect the berries and she would taste the berries. The berries which were sweet, she would she used to put those berries in her basket and which were not sweet, she used to discard them so that she could feed uh, good and sweet berries to Lord Rama. So this was the story of Shabri and uh, when Shabri met Lord Rama, uh, she was so happy and uh, she devoted him also and then after that uh, Lord Rama uh, went to Hampi uh, that was at that time called the Kishkin Dham. So that's all about this video. Uh, we have tried to cover many points in this video but uh, still many more things are there which are to be known by you guys so we will do a part 3 a continuation of this video only so if you want to know further facts about Ramayana uh, we will upload that video soon so do check it out as well and in that video you will also get many informative uh, knowledge which everybody should know because uh, as we all know that uh, Ramayana is our epic uh, so it should be known to all like it's like a general knowledge so and it's quite interesting also like uh, knowing about the history it's like a history right like a story so it is very interesting also for me at least it is very interesting to know about the Ramayana or Mahabharata or any uh, interesting things uh, from the past so if you like this video uh, don't forget to hit the like like button uh, do subscribe to our channel and leave comments also your views on our video and uh, thank you so much for watching this video